Welcome back to the community, everyone, and thanks for being part of it. If you're new here, hit subscribe, hit a like on a video if you can, and the notification bell so you know what's going on every week because I post more than once a week now. And the live feeds, thank you for everybody that took part in it. It's been a lot of fun. And also I do a short every week to tell you what's upcoming. So I'm posting three times a week on here so you might want to be notified. Uh, if you get a chance, go up, take a look at the website here. You can get members t-shirts, nice, nice logo, I like them. My wife did that. And uh, I'm gonna be adding some other t-shirts to there. They really help support the channel. And no, I don't make a million dollars on them, obviously, but it helps support the channel so I can do things like this. And also, there's some pretty cool shirts I'm adding. You're gonna like them. Today, we're going to Harbor Freight. I'm taking you with me. I normally don't do that, but I figured I might as well film it while I'm at. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a 20 or 21 gallon compressor. And I know some of you are going to say, go bigger. That's all I need. Right now I have a 10 gallon. I haven't used it a whole lot, so it's like new. And it's not going to be able to spray a car. A 20, 21 gallon can spray a car with an LVLP gun. Especially something the size of a beetle. So it'll be perfect. And beings, you're going to watch me paint this time. I'm probably using Rust-Oleum again and you'll get to watch me mix, you'll get to watch me spray, you'll get to watch the whole ordeal. But the LVLP is low volume, low pressure instead of high volume, low pressure. So we're going LVLP, but I need a compressor, so we're gonna buy one today. You're going with me. We're gonna check it out, bring it home, do the break-in procedure on it, and check it out and see what it's like. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. Something different this week, although there's another, another video around the corner. So, okay. Let's take a ride. All right, we're headed out the highway. We'll be there in about uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, depending on traffic lights. I'm not gonna keep you in filming the whole way out the highway, but this is Route 30 headed out towards Greensburg. Oops, and I'm going a little bit over the speed limit, just 20 mile an hour, not a big deal. Uh, there was another Harbor Freight the other way, but there's more congestion in some areas. So I think that this is probably the easier part. Got some pretty roads out this way, not bad. Got to watch, there's usually state police all over the place out here. Which they're doing their job, I get it, you know, but I just, I know a lot of people say probably go to Lowe's, go to Home Depot. I did price them. The CFM was the same. The gallons were the same, you know, all that. But the price was just so much higher. And I'm not a full-time garage where I am continually running compressor 24 hours a day. So for what I'm paying for this, and we'll show it in the store, it's, it's just much better bet for me, you know. And I've had some Harbor Freight tools I believe the quality has started to go up, you know, on a lot of them. But uh, there we got something going on here. Gonna have to switch lanes quick and hopefully make the green light. Can we do this without hitting this dude? Oh, yeah. 6,000 RPM. It's always good in Heather's Jeep. She likes when I drive it that way. <laughs> But uh, yeah, just showing you a little bit of the highway here. Whoa, cool army jeep. And uh, you know, never be afraid to buy Harbor Freight. I've had a lot of the tools that I have used from there for many years and I've never had an issue at all. So I mean, they're fine to use. You know, if you're a full blown shop and you got cars in and out all day, well then, yeah, you're, you're gonna wanna step up to the plate and get a Cobalt or, you know, what have you. Campbell Haasfield's a little, pretty good too, I've had them. But this one's McGraw. I feel they've got a lot better reviews than CP, you know, so we're definitely going to uh, do that instead. But we'll be there in a few minutes and hang in there. I won't keep you riding in traffic with me. I have to even keep the music off because of copyright stuff. But I'll see you out front of Harbor Freight. Hey, so we're in here. Let's uh, take a walk over. We'll go right to the compressor. 
suppressors. Uh, they have so much cool stuff in here, it's unbelievable. And no matter what, you do save a lot of money here. I mean, I just don't believe in wasting money, especially when it comes to the point of me not doing work full time anymore like I used to. So here's the compressors and we're gonna step right over to, now there's a 30 gallon, but that's 1700 and I am definitely not going that high. So what we have here, let me put on my cheater glasses. Now we do have a 27 gallon and as you can see, there's 27 gallon, 200 PSI. Oh, it's got five CFM at 90 PSI. 78 decibels isn't bad, it's pretty low. That one's 450. 27 gallon, I could probably run an HVLP off of that. Uh, we have a 26 gallon here for 399, which has 175 PSI. I don't even know if I'm gonna need that much, especially running low volume. So we have the McGraw here, okay. And here is the 21 gallon, 175 PSI. We have four SCFM at 90 PSI, 80 decibels. This pretty low, probably lower than what I have right now. And as you step back and look, that's about four foot. So that's actually, you know, pretty nice. I think that, uh, I didn't know if they had any of these. See, this is the one I was thinking of. This is oil. The other one is oilless. This is 20 gallon at 135 PSI. And it still has four cubes at 90 PSI. That's the one I was really considering getting. Uh, 20 gallon versus 21 gallon really isn't a big difference. This one here is oilless. This one's oil. This one will probably last a little bit longer, but I'm not running a full-time garage. You know what I mean? I'm just pretty much doing my restoration project, but now I'm having a hard time that I'm here. You know, I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, that's a 26 gallon, so 26, but it is $400 and that five extra gallon, I don't know if I'm really gonna, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna need it for low volume because I watched a guy using a 21 gallon on a channel. I'll give him a plug here, I can't remember. Uh, name now but I'll give him a plug right here I'll find it and he was running a 21 gallon CP so it's either gonna be the 20 or the 21 and there really is only a $40 difference so I think they're out of this because this says take one and this one don't happen and online they did show it was out of it but I think that would fit nicely in the corner of the garage uh, 175 PSI so you know what, we're gonna go with this one. This is the one we're gonna go with. So I'm gonna take a ticket, I'm gonna go up to the counter and look right there. You know what, let's take a look here. Take their sign down, 249. I'm gonna get it for 249. And that 289. You're gonna see what happens here. I just caught that. So, okay, we're gonna do the 21 gallon for 250. They did forget to take their sign down because that's what they are now. So let's go ahead and get some help from somebody and have fun, be right back. Okay, we're going up to the register now here. I need to get a compressor. Do you mind being on YouTube? Okay. And your name is Josh. Josh is going to help me out here with the compressor because I had to take a coupon up to him to get the compressor. So let's make sure he don't bully us at all. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have that one, and you have it back there for 249 with the sale thing on it. So. 
I seen where it was, but I didn't think I was allowed to. Okay. You know, yeah, it's um, pretty big. I'll have someone grab it. You're younger than me. <laughs> Part cash, part credit card. Uh, you could, I tried to put my number in online and it wouldn't work, so I have my email. I don't know if that's. It's. Yeah. I get to have a big sign back or 249 and I like that. Uh, let me do the two year plan. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> That's just YouTube. There's nothing weird on it. We're just showing how helpful Harbor Freight is. <laughs> <laughs> so with this extended warranty, if something ever goes wrong, you just bring it back. Okay. That's great. Right, right, exactly. Okay, count that out and put the rest on card. Always try to buy the extended warranty on stuff like this because Harbor Freight's awesome. Even if it's almost two years down the road and something goes wrong, you can at least bring it back. So, okay. Okay, say when. Alrighty. And yes. Just wait. Don't move card approved. All right. Okay, I appreciate it. And then all we'll have you do is have your tool set up front here. Um, don't block the ramp and I'll load you in. Okay, sounds great. Thanks, Josh. You too. Okay, let's go out and get the truck, see how helpful they are here. His name was Josh. I hope somebody sees that and gives him recognition for how helpful he was. So let me pull the truck over here right now. Okay, so here comes Josh helping out. Oh, that way, Josh, I have my head turned. Who do we, who do we have here? All right, Bob, we got to show Harbor Freight how good their employees are here. Then you guys all get a raise. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, you have a wonderful Thank day. Thank you, I Thank appreciate you. your help. Have a great day. All right, so, and you know, I come to this specific one. It's, uh, it's in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. I'm gonna tag Harbor Freight and I'm hoping that they see this because every employee I've always dealt with at this Harbor Freight is absolutely amazing. They're very courteous, they're easy to get along with and they'll help you. And they even gave me the sale price of it and I do believe it ended, but it, the display still showed sale ad. So, and I'm not trying to cheat anybody. They treat me good here. Always buy the extended warranty on stuff like this. Let's head back to the house. Or should we get Heather an iced coffee? No? Huh? She said yes. <laughs> Let's go get her an iced coffee. Let's rock and roll. All right, we're almost home. As you've seen, we had to stop at Dunkin' Donuts. We had to get a little breakfast and her iced coffee. Just so good. And I know you think, why are you telling us all this dumb stuff? because sometimes I let everybody in my life when I'm doing things. I think it's fun. I like watching people do that. You know, when they pretty much will go, come on, you wanna go for a ride with me? I like that stuff, I enjoy that. You know, going with them on video 
and seeing what they're doing just like we do in everyday life. But we'll be home in a couple minutes here uh, and we'll go ahead. We're gonna unpackage the compressor. We're gonna set it up. There's a break-in period, just like when you're doing a car engine where you break in the cam for 20 minutes. I believe the motors on these have a 30 minute break-in period. We'll check the directions. We're gonna do it together. So I'll be right back. We're home. Okay, enough messing around. Let's get this baby out. It's about a hundred pound, give or take. So we did get the oil free, which some of you should have say, you gotta should have got the one with the oil, but I didn't. Like I said, I don't do as heavy work as uh, a garage. There is gonna be a break in time on this. <clears throat> We're gonna open it up together. I'll make some space here and see where we want to put it. And like I said, this one is 21 gallon. Perfect for LVLP guns. They look just like an HVLP, but they're lower volume, lower pressure. And we'll be spraying uh, chaos with it. The 40 CFM at 90 PSI was the same on the other one, for except this is 175 max PSI. Will it matter from 135 to the other one? I don't know, but it wasn't that much more, and I got the sale price. Okay, I need another iced coffee. I'll be right back. First, I've got to move this shelf with all my parts. Crankshafts are good there. Nothing wrong with those. I just have so many things. So we're going to move this shelf out of the way, and we're going to put the compressor right there because there's a plug right on the other side of that welder, and the cord is six foot long. So we're going to move that shelf over to there and make some space. I got too many parts, but let me get that done. I'll be right back. All right, so we cleared that wall out where everything was. I'm not done cleaning up completely. That compressor, sadly, it's brand new. I'll give somebody a good deal on it. I barely even used it, sadly. But that wall's cleared out. We're gonna open up the package now and break the engine in, the motor, and that's moved over to there. I keep all kind of stuff on hand. There's heads, there's actually two good crankshafts, nothing wrong with them. Auto starter, which is great. I'll go through that in another video, why you want to use a semi-auto starter. Extra good drums, backing plates, well, just a lot of stuff. So, all right, I got off track. Let's get it opened up. All right, let's get it open. I'm sure this is packed really good because I think it weighs like 100 pounds, so. I'm trying not to destroy the box too much though, just in case something's wrong with it. I imagine they'd like to have the box back with it before they give me another one. So, oh, my microphone got messed up one minute. There we go. Okay, so what's first? Let's bring you in a little closer. There is our booklet, which we'll hold on to because we're gonna need to know how to break the engine in. There's some bolts, I imagine there are two, the wheels, and there, wow, these are heavy, holy crap. Okay, here's the wheels. Came with styrofoam. Okay, well, do not eat, we will not eat that. I'm trying to figure out how I didn't want to destroy this box, but I guess I could take it back, tape it back up if needed. So let's do this. I'm going to slice it down the sides and that way I can tape it if I need to. Okay, now as you noticed, I have towels already laid down. because so I'm going to have to lay this down to put the wheels on. we go. Let's stand her up. I guess it's a her. I call everything her. Oh, I guess that's okay. And let me clean the floor up. Take the plastic off. 
throw it. Oh, as much as it weighs, it rolls easy. Let's get up close. What are you looking at? So I'm going to leave the plastic on here. I never pull the plastic off of gauges unless I really have to, because once it gets poopy and crappy, then you peel them off and you kind of look like you just put new gauges on. So I'm just unwinding a cord here. I believe it's six foot. They say it is, we'll find out. And extension cord use, blah, blah, blah. Here's a little sign for open close. There's the air valve on the bottom, off on switch, adjust, close, host. Said that pretty quick, huh? <laughs> okay. They have a nice little cover over the on off switch, which is good because of greasy fingers and sprays and stuff. So let's go ahead and I got to take his gloves off now. I'll put them on later if need be. Here is clean. Well, you can't see that. You need to tell me when you can't see. Clean air filter regularly or it voids warranty. And what's nice is these are washable. I'm sure you could buy one if need be, but they're washable. So it can't never hurt to keep that cleaned off. So let's check the brake in rolls. Now, we got the wheels on. There's a bunch of stuff in here about uh, general maintenance and everything. But breaking in the compressor, fully open the drain valve. We'll do that in a second. It's on the bottom. Turn the switch on. Let run for 30 minutes consistently with the drain valve open. And then turn the switch off. Close the drain plug, of course, and then it's broke in. So it's pretty much like, I guess, breaking in a cam on an engine, which is usually 15 to 20 minutes. But this has got to run for 30 minutes. So obviously, I'm going to go ahead, let you hear how loud it is. Now remember, this microphone is going to pick up a lot louder than it really is in real life, so to speak, because it's HD. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start it running, and I'll go ahead and pause the film and be back in like five seconds, but it'll be 30 minutes of running in between that. Then we're going to test the compressor out with a DA air nozzle and see how fast it drops off. So be right back. It just turns right open by hand and it's in the off position and there's the six foot cord. I'm gonna move this over just a hair. I gotta put a new plug in the garage. It don't hold stuff as tight. Okay, frame plug is open. Here we go. Oh wow, it's really not as loud as I thought. My other compressor was actually much louder. So, we are going to time that for 30 minutes. I'm going to pause the film, and we're going to test this thing out. I'll be right back. Okay, we're 10 minutes in, and running very smooth. It is not as loud as one would think. I just know this, this microphone's probably amping it up. That's 10 minutes in. Be right back. Okay, it's been running for 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the plug and we're gonna close the drain valve. That's on the bottom. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It's right there and you just turn it, okay? So what I'm going to do is plug it back in. Let me get my reading glasses. Let me bring you over here, come here. Now this says 175 PSI, okay? So what we're gonna do, this is the regulator for the tool to where you want it at, okay? We'll go through that in a minute. We're gonna let this go up to 175 PSI. That's what it says. And we'll see how long, remember I closed the shutoff valve. We're gonna see how long it takes approximately to climb to there. So let's turn it on and I'm gonna go ahead and set a clock, you can't see it, but I ain't gonna lie to you. So let's do that right now.
Okay, so we have 150, 160, 170, between about 172 pounds. And that took six minutes and 10 seconds. Now that ain't bad because remember, the tank was completely empty. Now I don't know how often you're gonna be running your tank bone dry, okay? And don't forget once in a while, be cautious doing it, open your drain valve and let the moisture out, okay? But now we're gonna hook an airline up and I wanna see how it keeps up and what it does. Now remember, when we're blowing stuff off, you're not gonna stand there and just hold the nozzle open for an hour. You're psh, 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 like that, <laughs> okay. Okay, let me see something. Something I did here, and this is, a, I believe it's 60 feet, this line. I'm not gonna use it right now. But a lot of guys put a hook on their wall or something and hang these on there. I went to, I don't know if it was Ace or Walmart, who knows, and bought a, a hose rack for an outside garden hose. And it keeps a nice curve to this where it isn't binding from hanging like on a hook. So I think I spent like two bucks on it. What I am gonna do, I got my smaller hose. I didn't feel like messing around. We're gonna plug it right in, hold the handle, just give it a firm push, okay? And I'm gonna put a blow nozzle on here. Blow gun, whatever you wanna call it. Let me bring you in closer. Now, this is adjustable, this side here. Here's your tank side. And I can crank this up to, what do we have? 140, it looks like. PSI, actually, probably 135. Uh, this will kick back on when this goes down to 135 and bring it back up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust it down to around, say, about 60. Okay, whoop, wait a second. Okay, now remember, you're only going like this when you're blowing stuff off. You're not gonna be holding it wide open, but I'm gonna run it a little bit hard on this and keep doing it to see how much it kicks on, okay? Let's crank it up even a little more. We'll get it to 80. Look, that's actually pretty strong. Okay, and we're still not kicked on yet. So you can hear how strong it is. So this is like really nice. My other one would have kicked on already, my 10 gallon. Okay, so you get the point, all right? And we still didn't kick on yet, not until it hits 135. Once it does, I'm gonna let it build back up and we'll put a DA on there. Nice, very nice. Now, one thing I do have that's brand new and I have not used it yet ever is a Campbell Hosfit HVLP. And it says 20 gallon or larger, 40 PSI at four cubes. And that's in Spanish. But anyhow, I'm going to try spraying thinner through that. There is, focus, there we go. There's the number, model number, uh, 20 gallon or larger. We have 21 gallon. So I don't know. I'm going to try it because 
I may have to hang the fenders and spray them and give it small breaks, but if I can do that, well then I'm going to. But this all this is about LVLP. That was the initial part of the process. So I just wanted to show you I had that brand new. I may use that also. Okay, I definitely give this a two thumbs up, five star so far. Uh, DA is a power sucker, or I should say an air sucker. These things are brutal on a compressor. So that's why I ran this to see what it would do. I have to run out tonight, so I'm gonna grab air chisel. I don't need an air ratchet. I got a Milwaukee battery powered one. So I'll grab a couple of more things, but this is really nice. It's nicer than I thought it was gonna be uh, for the price. I got it on sale for $249 and I was more than happy with that. Now I did, I had to set that down. I did buy the two year warranty on it. So if I take it back in a year and a half and it takes a poop on me, all I do is take my receipt in, save your receipts. It's probably in the system there anyhow. They give me another one and I can extend the warranty again if I want. Now I believe how Harbor Freight works, if they no longer carry this, they'll give you something equal or better. They won't give you nothing lower. So the McGraw gets a two thumbs up from me. Uh, I'm going to use an LVLP like you see here. Low volume, low pressure. And that's how we're going to paint chaos. And I'll probably do some friends, some favors with painting their vehicles. So uh, stay tuned. I know this wasn't completely beetle related this week. However, it kind of was because to be honest with you, this is going to get it done because I'm on the body work right now. You'll be seeing that soon because I got to put the film all together from different nights and we're going to be spraying. So, okay. Thanks for being here. I will see you next week, but I'll see you actually tomorrow night for chat.